What's going on? How are you guys today? We're gonna take a look around my kitchen, pantry, and fridge to give you an idea of what I've been eating for the past two weeks. And I've kind of been all over the place. I've been having, you know, the simple steak, rice and beans, a couple meals. I've been having some cheat meals, like even some hot dogs, organic, and burgers. Uh, more commonly though, like the chubby Italian boy stuff, like pasta, bread, and just some steak with that. I've even been making steak cutlets. And yesterday I just made pizza for the first time since uh, I did that video for you guys a couple months back. So uh, let's get started and uh, show you guys what's up. So we'll just start with the kitchen counter. I've got some of the bread alone sourdough bread, which you guys know I like the most. It is the highest quality in the supermarket. I've been just usually making garlic bread with this in the oven. I'll just spread some coconut oil on it with some salt, put that in the oven, and then rub a little bit of raw garlic on it after it's done. Uh, the grapes have been my dessert of choice. Uh, I've been trying to avoid the chocolate because I don't sleep that well when I eat it, but I've still been having a little bit. Uh, lemons I put in my Flextrose drink. So I'll squeeze a lemon with some ascorbic acid and some Flextrose. I'll show you guys that right now. So <clears throat> there's the Flextrose, simple carbohydrate available on frankietureandfoods.com. And it's just a regular uh, container of ascorbic acid, which I mean, I could sell you guys, but um, there's no real point. There's nothing special to it. A bunch of stuff going on here. Uh, we got the breadcrumbs that I've been using. And the reason I haven't been making cutlets at all is because I couldn't find a decent breadcrumb, but Whole Foods just started selling this a couple weeks ago, I think. And I just dip my steak in flour after I pound it out with a, like a perforated mallet. And then I put it in coconut milk and then these breadcrumbs to make a cutlet. Maybe I'll show you guys that in a day of eating. Uh, this is just some Italian yeast I was using so I didn't have to do a sourdough ferment. I might actually use this to make some burger buns for you guys. Uh, this is the rice I've been eating, organic rice with beans. This is just some ingredients for our secret recipe on Saturday. And oh, very important. So if you guys get water kefir and it's like a little uh, not fermented and it's not that sparkling and carbonated, Put a little bit of sugar in there and close it and let it set a day or two so the bacteria can like kind of come back to life by eating. Over here, I actually do have some uh, leftover pizza from last night, which I had. Uh, I just made a caramelized onion and steak pizza with some dough. And the, the dough with the yeast is not nearly as tasty as the uh, sourdough, but I still feel okay eating it. Sometimes I'll make the rice in the cooker. I usually prefer to do it on the stove with a pot. Not much in my fridge up here, just the sirloin steaks I've been eating from Frankie's Strange Meat. I literally bring them home every two or three days just so I don't really keep anything uh, in my house. Everything's down at the warehouse for the most part. And over here, sometimes I'll have some mustard, uh, sometimes some coconut aminos, uh, but that's kind of it. I did have some uh, lamb testicles uh, last week to just for a little testosterone boost, but uh, it can be a little hard on the liver, so I try not to do it too often. Over here on the floor is some of the Saratoga spring water, which I've been using to cook with lately. Uh, it killed my water kefir grains again, so there's something in there that's not that great, which is why I have all of the Mountain Valley down in the warehouse. And what I'll do is I'll bring home like a case or two of Mountain Valley, like just like I bring home the steaks. All right, so this is my pantry, which is in the dining room, because for some reason my parents just fill up all the cabinets with their stuff and I have no room. Uh, they threw my grapes over here for some reason. Hopefully those don't feel bad. Uh, that way protein I just uh, use for my sister's meals mostly. I don't take it myself. Some more rice. I was having some potato chips um, past week or two. Uh, one of the meals I was doing was I would take that sourdough bread, slice some steak on it, make a steak sandwich, and have the potato chips. That was just like a really quick, easy, lazy meal I was doing that required like no prep when I got home from work hungry because all I did was sear a steak for a minute or two, put it on the bread, eat the chips, no time at all. Here's a lot of coconut oil, uh, which is what I use to basically uh, sear everything as my main fat source. If, if it needs fat, I'm using coconut oil. Uh, these are the cannellini beans uh, that are come in a carton from Whole Foods. I gotta start making these myself, but it's just more convenient. Even more rice, some coconut milk that I use. And I haven't really been using anything else here uh, besides uh, this is the pasta that I like. And you know, a couple of days out of the past week, I've been having that pasta garlic bread meal. So this is the um, pasta bruzzo di sommo. I mean, Italian stuff is usually higher quality and there's not as many agrochemical concerns as um, 
as the states, and this tastes better than all of the organic pastas anyway, so I like using that. So that steak that I showed you guys in the fridge is the constant protein with any of these meals. I'll sear the sirloin steak and have it with the rice and the beans. I'll sear the sirloin steak and I'll chop it up. I'll put it on the bread with the potato chips. I'll, uh, you know, I'll pound it out into a cutlet. I'll have it with the pasta and the bread. It is my main protein source right now. And, and I guess the meal variety was one, two, three, and then the pizza has been a bit unusual. So the only thing I really have down here in my garage is all the water. I have one bottle of Mountain Valley left. I'm going to bring some home today. This is the Saratoga I'm uh, cooking with, and then the Gerald Steiner I'm probably going to use to make water kefir for you guys down at the shop. Uh, but I always keep a lot of water on hand because I do not put any filtered or tap water in my body. So that was a little quicker than I expected. Uh, but I guess when you're only eating, you know, 15, 20 foods, it's not a crazy, crazy amount to go over. What I haven't showed you guys is the other aspects of my daily routine that vary so much and, and it's, it's pretty involved. You know, whether it's how I effectively block EMF, you know, I'm wearing protective clothing right now. I, I'm in canopies most of my workday and especially when I'm sleeping. I take various supplements, like in the morning I might take uh, magnesium oil spray with MSM. I might have some flextros with the vitamin C and ascorbic acid. Uh, and then I might have some specific B vitamins with my meal for my liver, stuff like selenium as well. Uh, but you know, there's a reason I started each of my businesses that you can see on frankdestefano.com. Frankie's Free Range Meat, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi Shielding. All of them have stuff that I use every single day. Uh, so maybe I'll do a supplement update video next week. Maybe I'll do, you know, naturals. I don't know. I got to show you guys more stuff that I do throughout my day outside of the diet uh, because the diet has been a main focus of my channel and uh, people tend to overlook uh, the other important things. I would say the, the Wi-Fi radiation exposure is the most significant one. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you can like the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my next video. Therefore, as I mentioned, frankdestefano.com. Support me through all of my businesses before I completely lose my mind.